All right, guys. I decided to pull the trigger on a new Fat Moto. My wife's been wanting one since she's been riding mine. So I saw that these came out fairly cheap. For some reason, the price, they dropped them. That's probably because they're trying to get rid of all their last year models. But I've never had a Rover, and I wanted to try one of them just to see how that is compared to the uh, Fat Moto, the uh, Fat Tire All-Terrain. So I went ahead and got it. It's a uh, matte black. And so far, I don't see anything anything to be worried about damage-wise because I've seen where people get done in tanks and stuff like that. I don't see any of it, but we got the belt guard there, the uh, pedals and seat. Try to get this engine out. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to ride one of these. Here's how these feel compared to the uh, fat tire. I am going to leave this one pretty much stock. And that's because that's her bike and I just want her to get used to it. And then eventually, I might just do like a simple build on this one where we do maybe like a Predator 79cc engine or something like that or maybe a four horsepower engine, but for right now, we'll just run with the stock motor. See if I can't get this on this table. I need to get me a motorcycle lift table. It's just, I've been looking, but the prices for them just, they seem to be a little bit high. So eventually I'll end up finding one for a decent price. Maybe one that needs fixed or something. Well, I'll get this on this table and then we'll come right back. All right, guys, got it on the table. Now we go ahead and start getting all this stuff pulled off. We'll start seeing what's underneath all this. Hopefully it looks just as good as all this stuff on there. It was a tough thing on. Okay. I need to find a smaller jack stand. That jack stand is a little bit too tall. All right, guys. This is with everything off. All I'm back. I don't see any scratches or really anything. I'm kind of surprised because mine had when I originally bought it back then, but. They seem to be packing them better now. There's some just dust on there. So I guess I uh, will go ahead and probably go ahead and get the handlebars put on, get the uh, front wheel put on, and probably just do the pedals. We'll do the probably do the engine last. So we'll go ahead and get started on getting the front end put together all right guys got the front end put together got the wheel on got the bars on pretty simple now i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is start getting this engine put on all right so the engine's on now um i'm not sure why this engine slid all the way forward, but I feel like that's just too much slack. And the only way for me to do it would be to around, make these holes just a little bit longer in the frame. But for right now, I'm just gonna run it that way and see how, how it acts. If it wants to jump chain or do anything weird, then I'm gonna have to do that to move it forward. Um, the other thing that I ran into that I figured out is let's see if we can grab it the throttle i this is mine off my old fat moto the one that came on the bike is right there the grip wasn't even glued on so basically if you try to turn the throttle the grip was turning instead of the throttle turning so i'm gonna swap it out with this one and that solves that problem but yeah from the factory there's absolutely no glue in there and nothing
So now I just got to do the pedals and put the seat on it, air the tires up. I need to check the back rim, make sure that that's all tight. Make sure they put the mesh. The mesh link is on backwards from factory. So I got to swap that around because if not, it's going to kick that master link. You always want your master link when you put it on. Can I get in the C? You always want the closed end going the opposite way, basically going with the chain. Because if you have the open end that way, it, there's a chance that it could just tap something and shoot it right off there and then you lose your chain. So, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and get the pedals done. Get the seat on, uh, get that mesh link changed over, swap it so it's facing the other way, and just throw some air in the tires and try to do its first startup. It's already got oil in the motor. So, here we go. <laughs> So it was missing the bolt that uh, goes right there for the heat shield. I was thinking maybe they put it in the box or something because you got your uh, your ground for your shuttle switch. We'll go there. So I just went ahead and another motor. So, so far that's between the twilo, that's missing. It's so far the only things I've seen that's not there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in and that part will be all fixed. So now we just need to go ahead and tighten the brakes up, adjust them so they're working. And then pretty much everything that I can see is done. This is tight. I already checked this. This is all tight. The rear rim's good. So we'll just get these brakes done and then we can start this thing. One thing I did forget, I gotta change the center grip real quick. So that way the throttle works really well. So here we go. All right, it's all done. I just put gas in it and I'm letting it sit for a couple minutes. I want to make sure there's no hole in the tank and that we don't get any gas draining out at the back of the frame, which I don't see any. So that's actually really good news. So I guess we can go ahead and try to start it. I'm not sure how many poles it's going to take, but let's find out. Let's see if I can do this with one arm. Might need to put the choke on. Fire right up, how about that? 